All right, how's everybody doing? Good? First, um, we want to thank the organizers for having this event. It wouldn't be possible. Seriously. Awesome. This, uh, absolutely. This, uh, this is exactly the type of event of why we took this space, to put all these brilliant people you know, in a room together, a network. It's, it's truly amazing, and I, tru and I feel that even though you know, this was a lighthearted event, these events are going to potentially build products that are going to change the world. Um, so we're going to keep doing it as much as we can. We're going to keep going. And uh, it's great to have you all here. So give yourselves a round of applause. Also. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so uh, time and time again over the course of the weekend, a gentleman's name kept coming up that was helping everybody with, with projects that they were working on, giving them tools to help build that product. And we want to recognize that because this gentleman, you know, inspires, you know, what we like to inspire, which is collaboration. Um, and through collaboration, you can innovate products like the stuff that was built this weekend. So James Wonka, Wonka, come on up. So this is how we vet the people that we like to work at Ali NYC. We don't care about how much money you make. We don't care who your investors are. We care how you collaborate and help one another um, through building you know, their products and their businesses. So we'd like to give you a month of co-working for Ali NYC. Wow. Because you're exactly you so who we much. want to work oh, here. Wow. Cool? Out of course. I forgot the name <laughs> of the, I had to look through my phone. The first, the, the first presentation that was given um, was about um, children putting uh, a rocket ship together and launching it. Uh, what was the name of that product? That's who won our prizes. So we have, uh, I'm, I'm presenting the prize on behalf of Samsung developers, and we have two cameras to give the team, uh, plus a note. So come up here. pure hackathon idea, right? You're coming together, you're building awesome technology, and you know, you're not really worried about monetizing or startups or any of that crap. You're just building something great and useful. Um, so I'd like to give the uh, Twilio Prize to uh, the Why We Explore team. Um, yeah, where, where are you? Guys? the station API. They didn't demo it up here, um, but they did integrate Aviary in their back end. Um, and it's pretty cool integration. Um, but the prize goes for Aviary, best use of Aviary in one of these challenges goes to a big blue.
top of Shapeways, uh, we're the 3D printing company. So I was looking at the uh, three teams that uh, did the 3D printing challenge, and I thought all three were awesome, and I think I tweeted and Instagrammed all of you. Um, so um, the last one uh, where you were um, making a rocket ship, I thought that was awesome. I also really like the first one with the using a drone with sonar to map an asteroid that you could hold. I really liked the, uh, um, <laughs> my dad went to space and I just got this rock. Um, but I have to say that um, for the prize from Shapeways, which is $250 worth of 3D printing, um, goes to the team from p -Tech and uh, Robert, who did the, uh, yay! <laughs> the, um, Uh, my favorite description of it was the, the loneliness of stars. So I love that you guys turned the space between stars into a sculpture that you can hold. So, congratulations. Thank you. Sure. Thanks, guys. Well done. Um, can you take a picture of my camera? So, this is um, your novelty small chip. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, this guy? waiting on the judges right now to come up with their final decisions for, for, their, uh, for their prizes. So uh, hang out for a minute, talk amongst yourselves, Let's hear some chatter. No chatter. You have awesome hair by the way. I just wanted to do Let's give her a round of applause for her hair. Awesome. Twilio can hire her. <laughs> No. Give a round of applause for Dino right there. <laughs> Dino is the wizard at Alley NYC. He's going to be coming up with awesome things for us to do this summer. Play beer pong. And I don't have any space jokes. Anybody have any space jokes? No space jokes. Do you want to say anything, NC? <laughs> Does anybody want to get up and say anything? Anybody want to get up? Come on up, come on. There you go. Give her a round of applause. All right. It's amateur night, ladies and gentlemen. Any opportunity to speak, I will. I just want to thank and acknowledge all of you. I'm a math teacher at P-Tech. I was a software engineer for eight years. And so it just warms my heart. I don't think you know the, the difference that you are making in the lives of young people. You have embraced my students treated them as equals, they have learned so much from this. And so I just want, to know, want you to know that by your work here this weekend, they will go back and you are affecting hundreds of young people. So thank you. I can't say anything to beat that. So. Hi, my name is Jolly, and uh, I'm with the Internet Society in New York, and uh, I've been doing the webcasting. If you're looking for the videos, you know, afterwards, I'm um, putting them on the uh, NY Tech Council uh, website, and they'll probably be on the Tumblr, but uh, nytech.org, and hit on, and then hit YouTube, and that's where you'll find them. As far as the Internet Society, I'd just like to say we're a, a cause-driven organization that looks to keep, maintain the open Internet, and, uh, We've got uh, 94 chapters around the world. A particular interest would be our San Francisco chapter because they're leading our interplanetary internet project and they've got events later in the year. Um, so there's, uh, and if you go to the Internet Society and join, you can join an interest group that specially works on the, the problems of long latency communication. And uh, so that's our contribution to the space effort. Thank you.
So without further ado, let's, uh, am I allowed to say that or, yeah, there you go. All right. Let's bring on the judges. All right. They're not coming out right now. They're not coming out right now. The judges, please. <laughs> Right, right. That would be pretty awesome. That's right, I do. Wait, wait. Oh, we got it. We got it. All right. There's Mike coming in right now. Let's give him a round of applause. There he is. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! And here are your judges. Woo! <laughs> Definitely take a job at U the UFC. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Everybody, another round of applause for Ali NYC, please. So, really quick apology. Sorry this took so long, but you were just all too awesome. We're sorry, it was really hard to choose. Um, and actually, uh, our judges came up with uh, a number of different local prizes. We actually want to recognize as many people as possible. Uh, so in addition to all the API prizes and everything else, we're actually going to give out um, four more awards in addition to the top two uh, global nominations. So uh, I'm just going to hand it over to Ron. He's going to explain the, the process and the categories, and then he will give it over to Liz Berry, and she will announce the winners. All right, thanks, Mike. This, I just want to say this was impressive. This was impressive watching everybody uh, coming up with the just amazing uh, ideas, amazing hacks. Um, uh, this far exceeded my expectations. I had really, really high expectations, and it, it just, you guys blew it out of the water. So, good job to everybody. Um, you know, this is why we get the big bucks being judges to make these type of decisions. <laughs> so, it was, it was really, really tough for us um, to try and single out uh, different groups from, a, from just an amazing uh, bunch of uh, projects. And so, what we did is we selected um, best use of hardware, best use of data, galactic impact, and most inspiring, uh, and we'll have those awards in a second. And then in addition to that, we're gonna send two on uh, to, to the global judging. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn over the list uh, for the grand announcements. Guys, this has been amazing. Um, it's so, such an honor to be part of this hackathon, and I can't wait to meet all of you. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with the first four New York City local awards um, for open data, which we've extended to include software, use of software. Um, the award goes to Versioning Goat. <laughs> You'd wait with us. Great. In the open hardware category, the award goes to Asteroid Mapper. Please, please join us at the front. As your name is called, please join us in the front. For the Galactic Impact category, the award goes to Royd Hopper. And under most inspiring, the award goes to Chillin' on Mars. Um, there's so many reasons why these, why these projects were chosen. Um, Version and Goat, you know, thank you for, for the gifts and thank you for doing, <laughs> and thank you for doing the hard work that needs to be done to sync up all these repositories. This was 
truly, um, you know, first level, um, very important work. So thank you very much. Um, in the open hardware category, you know, Asteroid Mapper, um, we just love how much hardware you built. Um, how much collaboration, you know, how much integration you did, we really want to encourage you all to keep going. Um, for Roid Hopper, um, it's really inspiring how you cut to the chase of really visualizing which asteroids um, would make the next mission targets. And this is happening, you know, this is, you know, asteroids are the next target for a manned mission uh, for NASA. So thanks for being on target with that. Um, and for Chillin' on Mars, um, you know, being most inspiring, you know, truly offering accessible, immersive experiences um, connected to these off-planet missions, and it could be undersea missions, um, really democratizes exploration for all of us. So thank you. All right, and going on to Please stay with us up here. Um, going on to uh, compete globally, um, we have two. And um, with no further ado, I can say NYC Space Cow and <laughs> and the second. Um, tiny sea bots. Um, in terms of why these these two were chosen, um, I can speak to tiny sea bots, and then let maybe the two judges who are here in the first panel speak to the space cow. Um, for tiny sea bots. Um, this is a project that has already been started, but what you, the extension you provided this project to let any CBOT be controlled by anyone anywhere over the internet was such a radical expansion, and we see this as being just a really uh, inclusive aspect to exploration. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, and uh, for SpaceCal NYC, I, I think the big thing was the, the impact, the, the fact that it doesn't exist, that it's a, a way to um, have collaboration between researchers. And that's, uh, you know, that's what this is all about. This whole Space Apps Challenge is about collaboration and, and engaging uh, people around the world and providing tools for collaboration. And I think that's a really perfect example of, of building a tool for collaboration, for worldwide global collaboration. And so we want to recognize that. and. Uh, if you're on a team that's not up here right now, um, <laughs> we can only pick so many, and that you all did so good. Um, I, I wish everybody, uh, uh, you know, could, we could figure out a way to recognize everybody, because I, I encourage, and we all encourage everybody to continue on your projects, because um, they, there wasn't a single project that was brief that we weren't uh, amazed and wowed with, and so everybody should be really, really proud about the, what they accomplished this weekend. Ron, thank you so much, Liz, David, and uh, a remote thank you to Jen, uh, who had to run to catch a train. Um, you guys uh, did a great job. I think you pick, picked some great, uh, great winners here, so please, yeah, please a round of applause for these guys. And, and just like Ron said, you know, we, we want to continue to follow up with this. We have uh, a mailing list that everyone's been taking, making a lot of use of. You know, we'd like to continue to do events. Maybe we can get some more meetups going, do some more, uh, like our last one with Liz and, uh, and Andrew Hill, a data visualization citizen science meetup. Um, you know, we, we want to keep this community active. You know, we, we are very much looking forward to working again with Space Apps next year. And, uh, you know, you guys, you guys blew everybody away. You should give yourselves a round of applause. But congratulations. <laughs> So uh, just a couple more thank yous. I mean, I, I've said it a bunch of times. Ali NYC has been great. Jason, come on up here again. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where NC is. NC, are you out there? I just want to recognize you guys. NC, NC, thank you if you can hear me. 
Um, and Alice has been very humble and very shy this whole time. <laughs> I, just, I just had to call her up here to get her up. She has done so much work uh, to do this. Please. <laughs> So uh, I'll say another quick thank you to our sponsors. I'm gonna put the image put the image back up there again. I, I missed all the API prizes. Um, we'll we'll wait for us all to get down. Good, good, very good move there. Good. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm I'm looking forward to to saying hi to everybody afterwards and and uh, figuring and finding out who the API winners and stuff were. Um, but thanks again. You guys have been great. Um, we really really enjoyed uh, putting this event on for you. So uh, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna wrap it up. Um, thank you again. Um, there may be some snacks left out in the middle. We're gonna take some pictures and hit stuff here, but um, that's it. That's the show, everybody. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> good job, guys. Well done.